Ah, uh, poor Dundee team. Drawn against Cassius again and going out. Next up, Plunderstorm against Thermidor. Hot start. From Hampshire, Plunderstorm. The boast is this can go faster than time. Its steel costs £4,000 to build over 500 hours. The rest, well, it's a secret. But with their own entrance theme and their costumes, they were great fun in the last series. Fun they were, and they had their boasts last time around, but against the Sentinel and Matilda. Were they frightened? Did they duck out? Did they say, we're going in here for safety? They're all calling you chickens over there. We're not chickens, we just wanted to get through to the next round, but most of all, we want to have a go at the house robots. Silence! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> we're back and we're going to stay. More violence. My name is Mike Onslow. This is Ken Burke, and that is Brian Kilburn. And this is Plunderstorm, and our robot is our weapon. It's got power, it's got blades, and we got attitude. we got lots and lots of attitude. From Norwich, Thermidor. The heaviest in the field with its huge pincers at the front of the lobster-shaped three-millimetre alloy shell. Cycle helmet and all. Start pedalling, boys, otherwise you could be on your bike. We're Team Lobster, my name's Dave, this is Eli, this is Ian, this is our robot Thermidor. We've got steel spoils on the front, a spike, the wheels are off the metro, and we've got a cutting disc on the rear. Roboteers, stand by. They're the Plunderstorm team. Mike Onslow, the captain of sculptor and mould maker, he has his own business. And Thermidor, three, with two, David Harding and one, Ian Harvey at the controls. Two, so will Plunderstorm live up to their attitude and their boasts? Thermidor, what a great design, the lobster shape. And what problems here again for Plunderstorm right at the start? They seem to have steering problems, design problems. Well, they have attitude. Will Thermidor leave them with a few ats to be chewed up? Will those caps and sunglasses and the Attitude and boasts all mean nothing here for Plunderstorm because they're not moving. And in come the house robots. <laughs> Plunderstorm, accused of being chickens last time around. Well, cluck, cluck, boys, you're doing nothing here. In comes Dead Metal. Oh, Mike Onslow, Ken Burton, Brian Kilburn. What's happened to you again here, boys? We expected so much. There's the camera on Killalot as Dead Metal backs away. In comes Matilda. Again, the camera on Killalot recording every grisly detail of the demise of Plunderstorm. Plunderstorm? It's not even a shower. Well, the blows are, are raining down under a, a hail of blows from Shunt. It's a cloudy future for Plunderstorm, that's for certain. It's snow joke for them, and the weather forecast is that the Plunderstorm will be swiftly snuffed out, and there will be sunny skies ahead for Thermidor. That's the end of Plunderstorm again. Cease. Plunderstorm in the pit. Now Thermidor can get his claws into round two. Mechanical malfunction. Because we, we never got, had time to try it. <laughs> and we got a complete mullerin. Yes. So somebody's going to have to pay for the next war. Oh. We are the crew. We're, we're here to, to tell, tell you we're going to bash them. We're going to trash them. In the wars, you know, we're going to smash them. The forecast bad. You better get running. You've got to be rough. There's a plunder storm coming. Next year. And now going. <laughs> <laughs> Thermidor did good. Yeah, it did well. We're pleased. Very pleased. Good. Hey, 
he's still in shock, aren't you? You're round two material now. In Robot Wars. Okay? Yeah. Good. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you.